is about as close as I can get with my uh, camera. This is a cigar box amp circuit board that I created. It's a one inch by one inch board. It has 32 or 35 holes to drill, which I've already pre-drilled the holes. I drilled those first. And uh, seems to be doing a pretty good job here. I've etched 10 of these already today. This is a tenth one. And uh, these boards not being taped down really affects the accuracy. And I'll show you in some pictures. You can find them on tech-tut.com that uh, this first circuit board etching tolerance is everything. If you tighten the chuck too much, it'll push your... Uh, your bit down too far and it'll dig deep into the circuit board. Now it'll be usable but it won't be as high quality as this last one that I've got here is probably the best one that I've actually done today. These letters right here actually have some copper in between some of them which is a pretty fine uh, detail and this is it's actually spot drilling the holes but since I already drilled them, because I have been alternating, I, the first one I etched, then I drilled, then I drilled the next one, and then I etched it, and then I etched the next one, then I drilled, I alternated, so I could do two things at once without having to change the bits a million times. Um, this operation actually takes about five minutes. I cut in about halfway. But I'm about to get a, uh, a cutter bit out and route these off this board. Uh, I'm ready to build some uh, cigar box amps now. These are actually going to be base amps. I need these circuit boards so I can desolder stuff in case it doesn't work. Anyways, here we go. Um, this is uh, etching at 10 inches per minute with a 60 degree V bit and drilling the holes with a number 65 drill bit. Uh, thank you for tuning in. This is Robbie with tech-cut.com. Have a great day.